let me show you how the auto heading function works. For it to work, we have to be in gear and the boat has to be moving through the water. So I'm just gonna show you what it does if, if you leave it in the neutral position and you try to activate it. You hear a double beep. That double beep tells you that that function is not available. And if you also noticed the light ring, it flashed an amber light ring twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shift the boat into gear and get the boat moving through the water. And as we move here, I'm gonna go ahead and press the auto heading button. You heard the one beep. You can notice a few things on the joystick now. One of them being the auto heading light is illuminated. You see the amber color there. You also notice the adjust lights are on. Depending on what mode we're in, if we're in the minus or plus position, you might have one or two lights. We're on two lights right now. We'll talk about that in a second. But then you also notice your display on the joystick. The display on the joystick, it says heading, which is what we're on right now. But then you also see this one degree left and right. And then you see a 10 degree that has uh, arrows to the left rotation and to the right rotation. So those are our course corrections. If I have a real minor correction to do, I might want to do just a one degree correction. And I can do that by tapping the joystick to the right or to the left. And when I do that, you hear a beep. The beep tells you it acknowledged the command. I did that to the right side or to the starboard side. So it just did a one degree correction to the starboard side. We're still going to continue on in a locked heading, but it's just going to be one degree off from when we initially engaged auto heading. Now that I've shown you the one degree corrections, let me show you 10 degree corrections. 10 degree corrections are done by twisting the joystick. Let me show you how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the joystick and just give it a rotation movement in the clockwise position and then let off and release. You noticed a beep and then you noticed that the LED ring was rotating in that same clockwise direction. When you hear the beep, you know that it acknowledged the request and it's going to turn us in a 10 degree correction. You can always do a combination of these corrections at any time. For example, if I wanted to do a 13 degree correction, I would twist once and then do three taps. The twisting motion being the 10 degrees and then three taps for each additional degree. Wind and current can cause the boat to wander a little bit off of that heading and if you want to more aggressively control that, use your adjust button. Right now, I'm in the least aggressive mode. And if I press the adjust button once, the plus light turns on, and now I'm in the most aggressive mode. So those two modes are used to help me hold that auto heading course. There's three ways to disengage auto heading. The first being turning the steering wheel, the second, if I bring the control into the neutral position or by pressing the auto heading button. For more information on your joystick piloting system and other instructional videos, take a look at your owner's manual or visit us online at mercurymarine.com.